Guys, somebody's over here messing with my tractor. We've got to check this out. Hey, what are you guys doing over here? <laughs> we're trying to steal, it, but we're trying to steal my tractor. That's not a key, that's a camera. Uh, <laughs> guys, come along today. We're going to have some fun with the folks from Land Shark. We're going to put a big mower on the front of the tractor today. It's going to be a good time. Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. Stony Ridge Farm. Boys, welcome to the Redneck Riviera. Good morning. Good morning. His beard looks bigger in person. <laughs> so this is Travis with Lane Shark. Thanks a lot. They made the drive up to North Carolina from Florida. Pensacola, Florida. Pensacola, yes, Florida. And you are the president of Lane Shark. Yes, so nice to see a young man <laughs> making a go of it. That's super duper awesome. Tell me what you're doing. So let's first let's walk up here to the front here and show the Lane Shark. This is the Lane Shark. It is a front mount mowing deck that rotates and moves around what do you call that like articulate we articulate so it'll offset to the side so you can cut around like you uh, cut around your pond so you don't get in your pond gotcha. and it'll set up on the side at a 90 degree angle for cutting overgrown roads and that's why it's called the lane sharp because it will trim a lane yes, or sir. edges of fields yes, like sir. so the thing that takes over fields the most especially around here and i guess probably anywhere where brush grows on the edge of fields the brush kind of moves in and moves in give you an example my dad's pasture land down on his farm he's got about 100 acres every time i go down there the pasture gets smaller and smaller oh, and smaller because it's just such a pain in the butt to cut those limbs back i mean it takes hours and hours often days and days and the land shark is a solution let's look up underneath here so there are heavy duty blades underneath here let's see that guy right there and you'll get a lot more footage later today we're gonna put this thing to work after Travis plums it in now Travis talk about what you've got to do to plumb this thing in yeah Josh what we're gonna do today is we're gonna install our full valve kit on your tractor so we're gonna start right here and run everything back uh, you'll see on your tractor you currently have lines up here but we're gonna set up a new system that won't affect this one. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here. We're gonna install our valve. And what controls that is our switch box here. And you've got two buttons that you use to start it. So you can't accidentally just hit one and turn it on. So we try to make it super safe. Uh, we also tie into the seat switch. So if you get off the seat, the whole unit powers off. The rotary mower only goes one way, and the deal is it has to push pressure out. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but we have to push pressure out from the hydraulics, and it's 11.4 11 11, gallons a minute on okay. this tractor. 11.4 gallons per minute on this tractor. The Lane Shark is rated at... Uh, we can run this Lane Shark at 8.5 gallon, gallons a minute to 14 gallons a minute. Gotcha. We have other motors that will go from 15 to 20, and then we have a smaller unit that'll work on five to eight and a half gallons a minute. Gotcha. So it'll work on any size tractor pretty much. Pretty much, yes. Gotcha. So what we're going to do is tap in and that way we can get constant flow. The constant flow pushes out 11.4 gallons per minute and then it dumps back into the sump underneath the tractor right here. The deal with this, the reason it's like this is so that when you shut it down, it dumps it all out. Am I right? Yeah, it'll free flow down <laughs> right. and it'll slowly come to a stop instead of a sudden stop. Instead of a sudden stop, which would tear up the pump. Right, and gotcha. also the main the main purpose of the return to the sump is to keep the heat of the hydraulics down. Gotcha, gotcha. Keeps cool. it safe from overheating your tractor. Awesome. Right on. I look cool. forward to We're this. Gonna this is going to be a now. fun day, guys. <laughs> so a little progress update because this is the first 50-65 you guys have done, right? The first one that we've done our full valve kit on. Gotcha, gotcha. So we're gotcha. doing all this on the fly. Nice. And kind this is a new right. valve kit that these guys are offering for Lane Shark. So this is all kind of new. So it's good that these guys can be out here. They're actually shooting a little promo video, a vlog style video. So you can go over to the Lane Shark site and check those guys out. I'll post a link down the video description for you. But so far, so good. We've got our hydraulic lines all laid out. He's tapped into them over here and probably about another hour's worth of work. I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along me. Yeah. I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along me. Yeah. What you 
got going on here? So we're about to hook up our power to the valve with this connector here. Then we're going to go up to the seat and tie into the seat switch so it's only powered when you're sitting your butt in the seat. Nice. Well, guys, we had a delivery, a little sidetrack there, but we're getting close to done here. Looks like we're just hooking up the hydraulic pump. Is that right? Yep. This is our final step right here. Nice. And then we will be ready to go. Good deal. So these lines are hard wired or hard connected right here to the pump. And basically that pump is what spins the blade. The blade can only go one way and you can see it's clearly marked rotation right there. And then we have some quick connects right here so we can disconnect and reconnect. Awesome. I can't wait to put this thing to work. Let's get in the field. So an hour and a half into this, we're all plumbed up, ready to rock and roll. The sun's coming up and it's getting hot outside. So let's fire the tractor up and give her a shot. I want to hear how this thing starts up for the first time. Okay, so it gives it a little gas. That's it. It's running. Awesome. We're going to raise it up and show you starting it up real quick. The way this is designed is it sends pressure to the pump and then when you shut it off, that's why they had to put the extra valve in. When you shut it off, it takes all the pressure off and dumps it right back into the sump in the bottom of the tractor. So I have absolutely no clue. This is really the first time I've got to lay eyes on this machine as it's hooked up to the tractor. So we're going to let Travis go through this for a tutorial for me and for a tutorial for you if you decide you want to get one of these lane sharks. He's going to show us how it articulates. In other words, it will just mount up to the front of your tractor and you could just mow or it'll go up this way, it'll go out that way. There's all sorts of different configurations. We're going to show you some of those configurations and we're going to take what you can see here. See how I've cleared all this out? We did this by hand manually with the chainsaw, dragging and brush cutting and stuff. And we're going to do the same thing with the land shark right here. So the field and pasture's biggest enemy is limbs, limbs growing over in here. So what happens is a tree falls or a limb grows out and you don't want to get beat to death on your tractor by hitting those limbs so the land shark will reach up under here and mow and it'll also trim up this high brush stuff this stuff that takes over the field so over about five year period a 10 acre field you could lose a half an acre or a full acre just by brush growing out so a limb grows out and then another tree sprouts and another limb grows out and another tree sprouts so this is a solution to that and it's going to be a huge labor saver because travis is going to let us demo this thing for what a year or so absolutely awesome it's going to be cool <laughs> so show us how it works all right to start off with you're going to pull the red handle pin that's on your right the red handle pin that's on your left and i'm going to set them up there for now come to the left the right side just push this back okay come around the front of the tractor just pull it out. So you've got all kinds of positions out here, but once you get it close to where you want it, you pull this little pin, so you lock it in there and that keeps it locked in to the offset position. So this right here will offset to the side, you can go around your ponds, you can go around the edge of the fields like we're looking at now. Now the main position is going to be this one here, so you just pull this kickstand, Pull the unit around. So then you have your 90 degree position for cutting overgrown limbs around the roads and around the fields like you have here. So you got to kind of use your imagination right here. So this thing looks all funny. It looks all weird. But when we set the bucket back up upright, this thing will be level with the ground and sitting upright kind of like when you see the guys mowing on the side of the highway similar to that except for this is kind of a really lightweight unit that won't weigh the tractor over and won't cause you to tip so 
really cool. The way we're going to do this is we're going to start out mowing underneath here. We're going to get all this undergrowth and then we're going to come back and we're going to flip the mower deck up and we're going to blast all this upper growth. The stuff that would knock you off the tractor or tear the tailpipe off of your tractor or exhaust pipe off your tractor. So that's what the whole goal is here. This used to be a straight fence line right here and there is fence in the woods right back in here but like I said all this stuff is just growing out into the field. So we're losing 15, 20, sometimes 30 feet of field all the way around this entire area. We're not going to do this entire area today just because these guys are up here visiting, but in a future video we'll show you a little more and a little more tips and tricks on how to run this thing as I get used to it. Is it okay if I work now? Absolutely. Please go to work. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> all morning long I just want to work, man. <laughs> Look at that awesome it takes a little bit of finesse and a little bit of learning you know I started bush hogging with my woods mower back there and I didn't know everything about it so it's gonna take just a little bit of time to learn how this thing works and what the best configuration for me is what I'm thinking is the best configuration would be to lay this thing down in the home position and then just push into the woods so go in and just mow it all down so it chops it up as it mows it's cool man the last position we're going to put it in we're going to flip it upright and just put it in the home position i guess you call it the home position yep and then we'll go into the woods and we'll just basically back in and mash down and back up and mash down and it'll serve as kind of a chipper shredder almost a mulcher cool I'm confused. Can you tell? <laughs> Guys, the next configuration that we're going to do is going to be flat, kind of like the front brush cutter on a skid steer. And I think this is going to be what I like the most. As I get a little bit better on this, we'll show you some more tidbits and stuff like that. So I want to talk really quickly with Travis right here. I'm going to put him on the spot. You guys started this company. Come on over to the Lane Shark. Let, let's talk about this. So you started Lane Shark with your dad? With my dad and my stepdad. Gotcha. And your dad and your stepdad, they get along? Yeah. They never That's really cool. had to work together because we would, did some at dad's house and some at stepdad's house. Gotcha. But, uh, gotcha. But yeah. both of them like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, you and your, you and your dads, you and your two dads uh, in a semi-plutonic relationship. <laughs> <laughs> we're, <Perfect. laughs> we're working in the garage and your dad came up with a front mount brush so, yeah cutter. so my stepdad terry found something that somebody had made that bolted to the bucket my dad and i would build them my stepdad would test them and back and forth back and forth 
Gotcha. And painted it bright green so everybody would see it. Yeah. And it's just snowballed into what it is now. Awesome. Now you guys are did a whole lot of beating and banging on this stuff too before you sent it to the market. Yes. Okay. So beating and banging. This thing is made of really tough metal. What gauge steel is this? And this is all American steel, right? Yes, sir. So it's made out of eighth inch steel plate for the deck, and it's all reinforced with quarter inch. Gotcha. And we seam weld everything on top of this deck to keep water intrusion out of it, so this thing will last and be around if i ever have grandkids hopefully they'll be able it'll to still be them. here yes sir. nice the only thing you should ever have to replace would be a moving component once you wore it slap out right yes, sir. nice cool well let's get in the brush <laughs> For the fun. Drone catching 101. <laughs> it's a thing, Walt. Yeehaw. I've never caught my drone like that for fear of losing one of these right here. Phalanges. <laughs> Guys, this thing absolutely kick butt. It's going to take me some time, but look at how big this stuff is that I'm cutting. This is a it's a dogwood, I believe, or an oak, one or the other. What we were up against here is mainly hardwoods in this area. On the other side of the field here, there are a lot of pines and stuff, so expect a cool future video cleaning up these field edges. Now, we'll have to go back in behind, and this is a whole lot easier than running a chainsaw, but we'll have to go back in behind and either push or toss the brush over into the woods right here. A little bit of a secret on the farm vlog, we have some big tall beautiful wonderful pines and we are going to buy a sawmill and we are going to build a cabin that you can come and stay in so guys i want to thank travis a million times over for coming up here all the way from florida yes, thank you so much for joining us here on the stony ridge farm big old place here lots of work as you can tell it's a lot of work for one guy yeah and this place is phenomenal Thank you, I'm thank you. I'm extremely blown away by what you've done in a few years. It's coming along, man. Four years into it, so <laughs> good stuff. This is the three-year anniversary. This month is the three-year anniversary of the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. And guys, if you're not following us on Facebook, get on it. Pound that like button. Subscribe to the channel on your way out the door. Check out the Lane Shark channel on YouTube. Yep. Good Lane stuff. Lane Shark USA everywhere. Lane Shark USA. Expect us. He's invited us to do a tour of the factory. So we're gonna go down and do a tour of the factory. It's gonna be part of our American manufacturing series. We're gonna start going and visiting factories in America and show you how stuff is made in America. So guys, thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Appreciate it. Woo! Come on, <laughs> give it to me. Woo! <laughs> there you go, he's got it. <laughs> see you guys, there's another one. <laughs> Good stuff. See you next time. We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife. So word on the street, you're a big Shania Twain fan. And I do feel like a woman today. <laughs> you don't look like one. <laughs> Handle something that has a uh, skid space and die fire. It's a hearty oh, like bacon. It's bacon so good. <laughs> my editor or my Let's get audio? uncomfortably close.
are not redneck problems. <laughs> GoPro down, man. <laughs> Intact. Hey, little buddy. We found you. <laughs> Don't you break again. Always remember to bring your zip tie holder. <laughs>